Hello beauties, it is Olivia Grace and welcome back to the Master Manifestors channel. Here we talk about how to manifest in the quickest and most effortless way and also how to remove fear, doubt, shame, guilt, all those lower vibrations so that we can ascend into higher levels of consciousness. So if you're interested in that, then definitely subscribe. I would love to have you here and be a part of the community. And if you like this video and you want to support me, then you can just like the video or comment or both. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. So um, I just want to come on quickly and talk about sets because I realized I never actually talked about like, I never actually talked about sets, like what it is. I actually did in a like a meditation I did but this was like something I did on Facebook so I never actually did this so let me first of all SATS stands for state akin to sleep okay and basically it is in that drowsy state when you're falling off to sleep now when you're in that state of in between sleep and awake it's basically like a doorway into your subconscious mind so as we know, or maybe you don't know, but your subconscious mind is what is manifesting. Um, your conscious mind obviously also manifests, but your subconscious mind is basically the identity that you have, right? So it, your subconscious mind is basically the role that you're playing and it plays out without your knowledge, right? So it's subconscious, it's below consciousness. So your, your conscious thoughts are the ones that you're aware of, right? The ones that you are maybe thinking right now, oh, wow, you know, a dog walked by, oh, it's pretty sunny outside. These are things that are on top of your head that you are aware of. Subconscious thoughts can be things like, you know, I'm unworthy or, you know, nothing ever works out for me or people just don't like me. These are things that obviously nobody's really waking up and going in the mirror like, I'm so unworthy, no one likes me. But, you know, when we know that, our outer reality is reflecting our inner reality and we're having these experiences these experiences in our life are showing us what's alive in our subconscious mind so i intend that that makes sense and i intend that you understand that so when you get into sats now when you impress your subconscious mind let me back up real quick when you impress your subconscious mind it expresses effortlessly right so again, you don't have to, you don't have to go in the mirror and tell yourself, oh, I'm so unworthy. You're just going to feel like that, right? And a lot of these things, like the example that I like to use, for instance, is let's say there's a little boy when he's like seven years old, his parents get divorced, his dad leaves, he barely ever or never sees his dad again, right? So that creates a story in his head that creates like an identity for him, right? At seven, that people leave me, people don't like me, uh, you know, I cause people to go away, I'm not good, something like that. Now, and also when you're between the ages zero and seven, that is when your subconscious mind is the most, like the most able to be impressed basically. So now he has that idea, right? But because he's not aware of it, right? It's playing out. Now he's older, he's a grown man he's on his third wife because his all his wives keep leaving he doesn't keep friends very well he he feels a deep like feeling of being unwanted um or being not cared for and he doesn't really understand why right because he's not consciously he's not aware that's what being conscious is it's awareness right he's not awake to the fact that he identifies as a person that is unwanted or a person that always gets left or something like that, right? So that is how the subconscious plays out. And when you get into manifesting, right? Like a lot of people will say, oh, well, I didn't manifest that. I, I wasn't thinking about that. I wasn't thinking about people being mean to me, whatever. But again, if it's a, if it's a subconscious program, it's expressing without you having to think about it. It's expressing because deep down, that's who you believe that you are, right? That is the identity that you have. So if that's the identity that you have, that's the role that you've accepted for yourself, that is the role that you have to express, okay? Like if if you, I don't wanna get into like roles into in this video, um, cause I feel like I've talked about that in a lot of other videos, but anyways, let's stay on the topic at hand, which is sad. So basically now when you impress your subconscious mind with your desire, now it, uh, it 
also automatically expresses itself into your reality without you having to do it right so let's take money for instance if you're a person that's like um you know maybe you have a story in your mind there's never enough money you know um money is evil or people that have money are evil or whatever you're not aware of this but you never make money you never have money right now you can try and you can try and change this on a conscious level you can get a new job you can you know uh, i don't know marry a rich guy you can i don't know whatever you can do whatever it is that you want to do on the outside but those feelings will still express. So maybe you get the new job, but now maybe, I don't know, you get like a new house or new car and it puts you right back to where you're basically paycheck to paycheck. Or you marry the rich man, but he's 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 stingy with his money. He doesn't want to like give you too much money or your, your monthly allowance is not a lot, right? Something like that. So when you try to fix it on the conscious level, and this is why... Neville talks about not lifting a finger because when you impress your subconscious mind, it will express automatically. Now, impressing your subconscious mind, like I said, your subconscious mind is easy to impress when you're like zero to seven. But when you're older, especially when you've had these programs running for 20, 30, 40, whatever, how many years, you know, it can be a little bit harder. Now, that can just be a belief because you can tell yourself that your subconscious mind is impressed instantly, right? And because you're so powerful, it can do that. But, you know, Sats, the reason why Neville and all of his followers that actually do what Neville teaches get such great results is because we're going right to the source, which is the subconscious mind. Now, Sats, when I teach people Sats, I always like to tell this story. This is how I learned about Sats. I think it was from like, I don't even know one of these youtubers but um so there was a father right he had a daughter his daughter uh watched madeline and if you guys have watched madeline in madeline she gets appendicitis right and has to have surgery and gets you know her appendix removed the girl watched madeline and actually man manifested appendicitis in herself she became so afraid that she was going to get it and she actually got it so she ends up in the hospital and when she's in the hospital, for some reason, I'm not sure why exactly they couldn't just operate on her, but it just turned really bad. And she was basically like on her deathbed, like she was dying. And so her father in, you know, kind of like desperation, he's like researching things online, um, I guess about miracles or whatever. And he comes across the SATS technique. And so now SATS, what SATS actually is, let me pause right here is you're creating a scene maybe like 10 to 20 30 seconds that implies that your wish has been fulfilled right so the father he sees his daughter in the hospital bed she's hooked up to tubes and he decides okay what would imply that she's healed okay so guys when you're doing this it's not that he's going to it's not even that he'll really like see her i don't know slowly feeling better or see her like opening his eyes but opening her eyes but still in the hospital bed like no he wants to know that she's completely better so what would imply that so the sat scene that he did was seeing his daughter do a pirouette and if she's up if she's dancing then she's obviously way way better right she's obviously not still sick and in any form she's obviously made a full recovery so he looped that scene as he fell to sleep now this is what you do with the sad scene so you take that 10 to 20 30 second scene that you uh create and you loop it in your mind as you're falling to sleep and you're doing this from first person so he's not looking when he is doing his sad scene he's not looking at him like he's not watching himself watch his daughter he's looking at her as if he's looking at her through his own eyes now a lot of people say that this doesn't matter you can do it in third person you can see yourself um but neville talks about including sensory vividness which means making the scene as real as possible including as many senses as you can not only what would you see what would you hear what would you feel? What would you smell, right? And when you're doing this properly, you guys, because your your subconscious mind doesn't know what's real or not, right? It's it it accepts what's it accepts what's impressed on it. Let's go back to the the little boy for a second that I was talking about that had the divorced parents. 
he as an adult can look back and say okay well just because my dad left doesn't mean that there's something wrong with me right it doesn't mean that i'm unworthy or i'm unwanted or you know whatever it just that's just something that happens with adults sometimes you know he probably had whatever stuff he had going on he can be aware of that on a conscious level but the subconscious mind accepts what is impressed on it it's not questioning your conscious mind is questioning well why does that make sense well why is this subconscious mind is like oh that's what you said well, that's what it is and that's why things like subliminals and um you know people get outrageous results doing this stuff um so anyways he back to the father and his daughter he did this loop to scene as he went to sleep and his daughter actually of course made a full recovery but what's crazy you guys her appendix amputated itself inside her body okay and like created like perfect scar tissue like apparently the doctors were like they've never seen scar tissue form so perfect around like or inside someone's body so I like to tell that story because it's it's miraculous this is not something like what can you do you know what I mean like that who can do that only God can do that okay nobody can like go and amputate something inside of your body like seriously I mean maybe sometime soon I mean you know science is like whatever but seriously like who can do that so yeah, that that story, I like to tell that story because I like to just let you guys know how miraculous because so like a lot of people in the Neville, you know, law of assumption community, they don't want to do the main thing that Neville teaches to do. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with affirming because I really like affirming too, because you're really affirming anyway, you're really affirming all day anyways, your thoughts, your feelings, uh, you know, your reactions, these are all affirmations. So affirming is really great but when you need a miraculous healing I don't think that if that that dad went to bed saying my daughter's healed my daughter's healed I don't know if he would have got that same result and maybe he would have because what's more important than what you're doing whether it's affirming or sats is achieving the feeling of the wish fulfilled achieving and accepting that yes it is done now regardless to what it looks like in front of me it is done now and really feeling that true so maybe it would have but that is sats you guys so um the one that neville likes to talk about is being congratulated and this is something that's really good because you can use this for a lot of things in yourself like if you're trying to manifest a job you're trying to manifest like a raise you're trying to manifest um even like a trip or uh your sp or you know uh your soulmate or whoever whatever you can imagine yourself being congratulated and for Neville, he was talking about like a promotion. So you can imagine putting your hand into your boss's hand and shaking it and, and seeing what you would see. Would they have like a, you know, maybe look around, see your coworkers clapping for you. Um, and, and really, honestly, you guys, like engaging other people in your sats, especially people that you care about, is a really good idea because it helps you. It helps you feel the uh emotion it helped and that's what's important like when you're doing sats correctly you guys you will feel it real you will feel as if you are there um and with sats there's a lot of different you know um directions with it like some people are like oh you need to do it every night sometime you know neville sometimes says like you only need to do it once but basically you want to do it until it feels real to you and i actually feel have a video um talking about how to know if you've successfully um successfully impressed your subconscious mind and i'll link that in the description for you guys um but yeah it's i mean to me it is one of the most powerful techniques and one last thing and then i'm gonna end this video but a lot of people talk about well i can't visualize and all this other kind of stuff or whatever and you guys like i'm honestly i'm not a visual person either you know i I like to hear. I like to hear um, like a conversation, which is another technique that Neville talks about. Um, just hearing like people talking about, um, you know, or hearing something that implies that your desire is fulfilled. So, but I strongly suggest that you practice, you guys, okay? Like it's kind of like meditating. Everybody that, you know, I would tell to meditate, oh, well, I can't do that. Like, 
Well, you can't do that because you're not used to doing that. You know, that's like if I tell you, oh, go run 10 miles right now. Well, no, you can't do it. You probably can't do it right now. But if you practice, you could do it. You know, um, to be honest, you guys, if you don't even have faith in yourself to be able to gain the ability to visualize, that's, <laughs> you're not starting off. <laughs> you're not starting off in a really great place. I don't, and I don't mean that to be mean or anything like that, but let's stop, let's stop limiting ourselves. You can do things, even things that you may, maybe you can't do it today, or maybe you can't do it to the extent that you want to be able to do it, but you can in fact do it and you can practice until you can do it correctly. Okay. So practice, you guys try, because I've been practicing now for about a year and I've gotten so much better. And something that a lot of the you know top nevelers I don't know <laughs> what else to call them but when you feel that scene real which happens when you include lots of sensory vividness um that is when that's when the manifestation comes the quickest is when you feel it real in your sat so um yeah that's what I got for you guys so if you like this like it and um I'll have like links in the description if you want to be a part of my group and I'm intending that this helped you and I'm intending that you guys actually you know choose something and manifest it using sats and I don't think you'll doubt it after that I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video